Rumors say that since the dawn of time, I've crafted every Rimworld mod pack we've played with my own fair hands. Countless times I've waded through the memes and the filth, but not this time. I searched long and hard. I went through the front page of the most popular mod packs. Long and hard. And out of the 30 mod packs on the front page of the Steam Workshop, 10 were in Mandarin and 7 belonged to someone called Mr. Samuel Streamer. And it made the whole thing a lot harder than it really needed to. In my desperation, I turned to the darkest of the internet archives, Russian forums. With hope in my heart and fire in my belly, I headed for Google Gateway to Russian mod packs and- Oh, my eyes! <laughs> Having had my retinas reattached, I headed for Google. And there, an oasis in the desert. Hardcore-sk.ru Oh, um, <laughs> really didn't, really didn't think this through. Is that Russian for download? Then, after frantically heading for the safety of their GitHub, downloading their very fancy installer, everything was finally ready. And I was ready to take my first steps into a world crafted by someone else. Oh, what are you, since when can scythes shoot guns? Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Good. Good. So without further ado, Rimrims and other non-denominational Rimwelders, welcome to Rimworld, where apparently now <laughs> it's entirely in Russian. Vinimanye. Now I've had Hardcore SK recommended to me hundreds of times since we first started playing Rimworld. Everybody recommends it so, so highly, but if you can't tell from the name, it is intended as a hardcore playthrough. I have no idea what this mod pack consists of. I, I have no idea what mods are in there intentionally. I wanted to go into this entirely blind and entirely uninformed, so that I could hopefully try and uh, test my remote skills, for lack of a better word. But more importantly, it's, it's good research for future mod packs. I wanted to try and find some mods that have kind of gone under the radar a little bit before we go on to the next series I've got planned. I suppose we'll start with a new colony then, eh? Okay. Well, we've already got a lot of new ones here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, should we start from the top and work our way down? Lost cannibals. I like the sound of that. Bloodthirsty nobles. The group narrowly escaped a corrupt and abusive village. Only a few of you got out and were planning on never going back. Planetary recon. Your current supply is being dropped in an unexplored region of this remote planet. Your task is to establish a perimeter, build a permanent habitat, and start to explore the rope. We can't, I, I can't make a brutality here, but with the An exile survivor. I do like playing as the single survivor with no starting items whatsoever. A true hardcore scenario. While I am famously very good at RimWorld. Sure, I'm okay with that. Oh, God, we've got new storytellers too. We know what the top three do. We then have Kara Fateful. We all go a little crazy, do do we not? Do not we? Kara will play with you as long as it takes. And to see your exhausted body trembling with anger and frustration. Oh, this is some hentai shit. Ray Torturer. Ray is tough and a consistent torturer. She will taunt you until magma flows out of your ass. <laughs> Have I made a mistake? Zero Prototype. He will tell you the story of despair and hopelessness. Or finally, what the hell is even that? Rotty Milden. Rotty Milton is a country girl who loves playing pranks. Most of her mischief is harmless and will keep you on your toes, but occasionally she'll loop behind a big mess. Regardless, it's all fun and games to her. She'll make sure small random events occur frequently while holding back on larger calamities. Kind of the opposite then of Phoebe. Um, right. Well, I feel like we have to play one of the new storytellers, of course. Um, I do like magma flowing out of my ass. Uh, maybe, maybe rough. The seed. Ooh, woo, daddy. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> uh, wow. I don't recognize, uh, well, any of these, to be honest. I assume these are just pirate factions. Is that the Empire? I feel like this is going to hand my ass to me anyway. Maybe like a nice mountain in a temperate forest for a, a nice safe playthrough. What is this? Volcanic fields. Well, you son of a bitch, I'm in. And now, our characters. Oh my god, what am I looking at? <laughs> Uh, fine. Give me Foreman. Foreman, the big fat cannibal. Say, Alexi, why do they call you Foreman? Is it because of your impressive construction skill? No, no, no. It's because that's what I have for lunch. Oh, no. What have I agreed to? <laughs> oh, no. Choose the government type your colony will have. Well, I think that's a fairly simple one. You aren't sure how you got here. Maybe it was something you did to someone. Maybe you push your luck too hard. But whatever brought you here strangely feels like it was on purpose. There is so much going on, I don't know where to start. 
What are these? Shipwrecks. Like small shipwrecks. I assume they're the same as ship chunks. We've got uh, totems. My god, look at the trees. Oh my god, he has hands. <laughs> uh, that is high tier cursed. Oh good, there's a human head on a pike in the middle of the lava lake. Well, you've already outdone yourself this time, Foreman. Ah! No Rimhud. How the hell do you play this game without Rimhud? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go through the UI before we do anything else here. We need to figure out what the hell all of these buttons mean, because this is overwhelming. We have the Architect tab. Um, that seems uh, similar but slightly different. Hall button is different. Override hall priority, increase hall priority. Oh, I like the sound of that. Uh, zones look more or less the same. Structures, we have some fences. Production, oh my god. Whoa, we've only got access to medieval text. Special foods? Oh, like a like a crafting spot. Conversion, sewing, assembly benches. Accessories, classroom. Runner rugs, ancient mats, doormats, security. We've got medieval weapons. Oh! Oh, I like that drop down menu, that's quite cool. We can build any type of natural floor we want there as well. I assume nothing in ship. Temperature, passive coolers, campfires, and stoves. Joy. Uh, head on a pike. Finally, something we can agree with. It's a head stuck on pike. Ooh, scary. <laughs> I love that. That's an enjoy object. That's so good. Terraform. Oh, interesting. Nuclear power. Oil production. So probably rim atomics and um, rim feller, I would assume. Hygiene. We've got dubs about hygiene. Worth mentioning. Are they thirsty? Do you get thirsty? Uh, my god. How do you use... There we are. Uh, hygiene, yes. Bladder, yes, but no thirst. Okay. My god, I'm going to have to relearn the remote interface without rim hard now and then planning i like planning that's fine work tab oh no oh no uh we're not using sfs work tab fsf yeah work tab we're using um this one which i personally generally tend to avoid because in larger mod packs well case in point really medical kit what the hell is even that bandage kits crude bandage kits herbal medicine there's like many many different tiers of medicine now fine schedule Looks identical, with the exception, of course, of school. It's children's school and learning must be included then. Uh, we've got Days Matter. Hey, nice. Okay, I, like, I quite like Days Matter. We played this with a couple of series. With the numbers mod, that's going to be very, very handy, because I've very much doubt I know half of what we've got going on here. And if I can work out what mod adds multiple different loadouts like that, that'll be something I throw into probably every mod pack, because that sounds incredibly helpful. Animals tab is the same. We do have robots, I assume, hauling bots, things like that. Uh, the wildlife tab is roughly the same. Research. There's a loading screen for the research window. That's not a good sign at all. Oh, good lord. Oh, good god. Uh, wow. Okay, there's a fair amount of stuff. There's actually very little in terms of space attack, eh? Space attack is all... Well, I say very little. Obviously, all of this is, but... Whoa. God, there's so much early game technology. Then we have, bizarrely, Orion's Hospitality mod? Okay. Quests are fairly standard. World map is fairly standard. We'll have to try and figure out who all these factions are. Energy usage. Oh, that's quite good. I don't remember the mod that adds that, but I, I think we've briefly used that before. Currently, leadership. Thank you. Then we have Dubs Performance Analyzer, Rocket Man, History. I'm never going to remember that button. Relations. Okay, that's good to throw in there. Fluffy's Relations. Uh, Mint Bills menu. Fine. We've got a minimap. Oh, interesting. See, I never personally play with the minimap mod, so this could be the, the first time where there might be merit to that. And then we've got Help. I need it. Yep, I really, really do. Runtime GC as well, character editor, and then the main menu. Wow. Um. <laughs> wow. Foreman, I won't lie, my friend. You're probably screwed. First things first, I suppose we'll, um... Oh, coal ore deposits. M mountain base? Here we are. Round of applause, everybody. The first tree felled by Foreman on this new world where we will survive for many years, I get the feeling that may be a basket of coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We can only grow potatoes. Tree falling speed a hundred times. Oh, there's an actual separate tree falling speed rather than plant working speed. It's all effectiveness factor, 100%. What the hell is even that? Oh no, we can't grow potatoes. We don't have potato seeds. What do you components for doors? Okay. Primitive components and 10 wood planks. Ah, oh, would you look at that? A bed. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping with his eyes open, which is very concerning. Hey! Leave my coconuts alone. What are you people doing? Foreman has contracted diarrhea because of bad personal hygiene. 
<laughs> dirty, dirty boy. And a Potamigan joined. Hello, Potamigan. What the hell is a Potamigan? It's a chicken. It's a lot of chickens. What is happening? <laughs> what is what is what is going on with my life? Well, we finally finished building a lovely mountain house. Just in time to get savaged by giant cats. Foreman, 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 foreman. Lock the door. Lock the door. I have an idea. It's a terrible idea, but it might just work. <gasps> it does work. It does work. It, look, the chickens will attack the saber-toothed cats when they walk past. Oh, my chickens. No. They've laid down their life for foreman. What? Holy shit. Oh my god, they've actually killed one! That is the biggest brain play anyone has ever made in RimWorld. He killed two? <laughs> Foreman. Oh my god, They're the chickens are attacking the other one now. Okay, between Foreman and the last two chickens, we might be fine. Uh, no. No, he was instantly downed. His heart was instantly destroyed. <sighs> Vengeance. Avenge him, chickens. Well. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. We'll go for a bit more of a standard start. The classic Rimworld experience. That seems like an incredible way to learn whatever the hell's going on here. And you know, I'm going for Rotty Milden. I don't know who you are, Rotty Milden. But you sound like something that is a much better storyteller for learning what the hell's going on here. Wait. Hang on, we can play here? Almost a lake. I'm in. That's, uh, that's definitely a mouse. That's a cat. I think that's a dark elf. Already, already I feel so much better about this one. We have Arkansas Jones, our blue lady. She might be an Asari from Mass Effect. I'm not entirely sure. High construction, high artistic, high intellectual. We have Tony Friday, the psychopathic mouse. <laughs> and finally, the elf only known as Cold Steel. Dare I say it? Shall we break the habit of a lifetime and go for democracy? Oh my god. What a lineup. What a lineup. Oh, Tony, your face is fucking horrifying. <laughs> wow, look at the map. Look at the lake. We've actually got structures this time we can use. Oh, I didn't even recognize half of these things. Redwood walls. Basalt tiles. There's a straight up panda. Hello, panda. And whatever. Th that's a stargate. That's a straight up stargate. Alpha poly, an ancient. Un Hang on. Alpha poly. What, as in. Wait, Glitter Tech is in this mod pack. Oh, it is. Uh, there's also. That thing. A boom rat called Flapper. <laughs> Incredibly inappropriate. We have weapons. We have combat extended. Well, I. Do you know how to use Comeback Extended after all those days playing as good old General Joe? Rest in peace, big man. I had to look it up. I'm sorry. I've already broken. I had to look it up. Rimhud is in fact compatible. We're saved. Now, as far as I recall, it's my job to get these people killed, right? We have these deployable tents. There isn't an install button, but there is a hall 2 button, which I think is on absolutely everything. Oh, I need to know what mod makes that. Because that is, uh, that is high tier. Turns out we have to clear a pretty huge area for the tents. We also took apart a spaceship chunk and got an advanced component and a bunch of other, a bunch of other stuff I just don't recognize. There we go, at long last. Nice. And then we've got a smaller one there too. I guess we'll use that one as a bathroom. Well, besides not being able to buy the mega sloth from this trader, I think that's an okay start. We did also get some cargo pods over here. Um, how do we... Oh, we actually have to actively go over there and open them. That sounds dangerous. I don't trust you. And caravan animals. Hey, hello. Rhinos. Rhinos with guns. Of course. Blaze bulb. We need that. Oh, that would be massive. And then 20 advanced components. What? Like actual advanced components. How many different types of bloody components are there? Oh, God. What have I agreed to? Cold steel. Cold steel. There's so much. There's so much to learn. Let's very carefully dismantle a rhino. What a shot. We've got limited ammo. It's bleeding out in nine hours. Let's go and shoot the next one. God, this is sweaty room mod. Been tricked into playing sweaty room mod. Let's get you behind a tree. Nope. That's a problem. Okay, cold steel. I'm gonna have to get you to uh have to get you to run away. Shoot the rhino. Please shoot the rhino. You need to move. We're fine. Everything's okay. 
There was no panic in my voice at all. Now we kill the rhino and take its gun. There we go. All three of my colonists are out now. God damn it. Oh, this one's faster. This one's faster. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Okay. Okay. You reposition down here. You keep running. Tony, fuck off. I haven't got any ammo for Tony right now, unfortunately. Right. Shoot the rhino. Shoot the rhino. Cold steel, run. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, cold steel. How did you get gored? Bright environment. A site plus 15 percent nice. Uh, you're fine. Nothing's broken. Nothing's damaged. Just a slight bruise. 28 advanced components. That seems incredibly generous to kick things off. Good work. Killed a bunch of endangered animals. Well done, everyone. Oh, we do have simple sidearms. It's simple sidearms the light, then it must be. Given that we haven't seen it, obviously, until they've got the gear. I guess that's to make it compatible with combat extended. Okay. Thank you for that. A gift of grenades. Jesus, that was fast. The Covenant of Brapa. Hello. I think we've probably got this one in the bag. Get him, Cold Steel. Bring him down. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Tony, get in there. Nice, what a shot. Holy crap. Oh, incredible work. One left. That's a hell of a shot we're going for there. Maybe we could close in a little bit with Arkansas. Let's bring you around. Sneak attack, sneak attack, Tony. Let's get you come around as well. They'll never see it coming. They'll never see it coming. Tony, slice them. <laughs> oh, that is incredibly high tier. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Very neurotic is quite nice. Seven melee. A uh, couple of passions across the board. Double passion melee of six. Weak constitution and misogynist. And then we've got construction six, undergrounder and sluggish. Very neurotic I could work with. I haven't really got anywhere to put anyone right now. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting a raid this early. Raw herbal medicine. You haven't got anything. And then you've got 288 silver. That belongs to Tony now. <laughs> These generator names are so good. The cultured union near Trebo and best. Now, I could take that down to an initialism. Uh, but I feel like YouTube wouldn't be best pleased about that. However, cultured union, high tier. And best, as our settlement name, is also incredibly high tier. Everything about this right now screams best and cultured. Oh, we do have fishing, but it's not villain or expanded. Wooden fishing pier. Six primitive components, 120 wooden planks. I'm sorry? Green Wyvern has self-tamed. Uh, that is just a straight-up dragon. <laughs> um. Wow. 15,000 market value. What? What? A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. She's called Dolphin. Underground and neat freak. She's skilled with a passion in shooting. She's got melee, construction, mining, cooking, plants, medical, and she has a passion in social? That sounds like she's actually very skilled. She's not bad at all. As far as I can tell, there's no way to build lights, which is a bit of a problem. So I guess we'll start with research bar earlier than I really intended on. That's assuming I can find it anywhere. Um, it's under misc. It's under misc. Uh, sandstone. Okay, so we need stone for that one. And um, we can build a basic wooden research bench. There we are. Eight primitive components, two mechanisms, and 150 wooden planks. I assume we get some mechanisms from taking apart these ship chunks. I certainly hope so. I feel like I'm learning the entire game from scratch again. You got any, hey, you got any mechanisms? Hey, there we go. Oh, of course. Of course, we'll put them with the dragon. A group of jaguars, abandoned or lost, have joined the colony. Good. Good. Now with the seed mod, I don't really know how to begin farming because we can only grow potatoes right now going by our research and there are obviously no wild potato plants for us to get some seeds from right now. I guess we'll just have to go all in on the fishing for a little while. Yep, that will, that will do it. So we have the option for a kitchen table or a steel butcher table. I suppose I'll put down a wooden kitchen table then. Butcher corpse, split coconuts. Well, how the hell was he eating coconuts before? <laughs> <laughs> we do have the Hunter Baroness quest, so we could go all in on the Berserk meta if we want to. Given this is more of a uh, hardcore combat based mod pack. I think that could be a good idea. Now, Arkansas has a level 1 Silent. What, what psychic power do you have? It's rare that I use the base game realm on psychic powers at all, to be honest. So this could be a good excuse to do it. Word of Trust. Accept it with you and get you another level of Silent. Just go all in on making Arkansas the Psycaster. Sure. Sure, why not? There you go. Oh, well, that's a little bit... That's a little bit tougher than what I would normally expect these man-hunting creatures to be. Please kill it. Whenever you're ready. Oh, we're going to lose our fisherman if we let it go. Let you finish one more fish. There you are. Really? That's where you... 
<laughs> as we decided to land in what is going to be our new kitchen. Hey, there we go. Wow, look at all these we can make. Uh, I guess we'll throw down just a regular fueled stove for the time being. Did I... Did I read that correctly? Ah, uh, yep. In one of the rooms was very dirty, as well as the free access to food attracted the attention of insects which are not averse to eat. I.e., we've got cockroaches because we've left meat on the floor. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, you know what room what's missing? Cockroaches eating all my food. There aren't any simple meals. There aren't any lavish meals. There might be after a little bit of research, but we've got grilled fish, cooked fried assorts. I've got roasted meat on the list as well. Uh, sir? Are you, are you feeling okay? Well then, time to crack on with some of this <laughs> incredible amount of research. Oh God, where do I even begin? There's so much, there's multiple tiers of it. Do we need four tiers of floor research? What do I normally go for? What do you normally go for immediately? Like, uh, microelectronics. Microelectronics basics. Uh, okay, we can't do that yet. Why? What am I lacking? Oh, we need regular electronics. And before that, we need fiberglass. Oh, of course we do. <laughs> Outlanders from Hidos have left a gift. Bird leather, plague doctor mask, and a king hamster wool earmuffs. Well, thank you for that. Oh, that is high tier. <laughs> oh, that is so high tier. Does it give a medical bonus? You'd assume so, right? Germ containment, 52%. Germ resistance, 37%. We're gonna worry about germs? Oh, God. Dolphin. Hello, dolphin. What a team. Uh, you are good at, right now, Kind of everything, really. We could put you on cooking, and then we could take Tony and make her permanent researcher instead. Oh, God, they're back again. Oh, look, we can see the fires on the minimap. Oh, that's quite helpful. Uh, we can also see where the radar is coming from. It's only one of them this time, really. Group of tribes people. A... Well, our, our tribes person. A single one. Maybe we should rush down ammo, because I feel like without that, we're going to be at a... <laughs> a pretty hefty disadvantage. Production tier one is the research that allows you to make the ammo bench. Maybe we go for that first. Oh, what a shot. Wow, Cold Steel. What? A cold hard killer. 12 crafting, single passion. Oh, God. Uh, right, in that case, the kitchen is now a prison. <laughs> oh, you have to actually build sleeping spots? Oh, fine. Fine, fine. Okay, fine. What we'll do then is we'll say, go build the sleeping spot. We'll turn this into a temporary prison. Yes. And then we'll start carrying her back and then we'll move her into the kitchen afterwards. L locusts? What do you mean? Locusts have been found in your home area. Destroy them quickly or they'll eat your apparel. Ah. Uh, yeah. L locusts. Where? Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there really are. Oh, the cargo pods, of course. God, please don't be a mechanoid. Oh, well, it's body. Now, Cold Steel has bloodlust. Synthread bandit scarf, synthread blazer, synthread oven mitts. Yeah, no, that sounds perfect. Hauling napalm 34 to stockpile zone one. Where did you get that? And another drop pod wreckage. There's another dead person. Uh, what have you got on you? There's a Synthread tunic and a Glitzetech Neurowire Synthread bandana. Oh, good. Toxic weather. I mean, it's not as if we've got a farm going right now, I suppose. You've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Oh, good. What have we got this time? Wow. Everything, apparently. Components and gunpowder and potentially more gear for cold steel again. Ballista bolts and gold ore. <laughs> Seeing as this is supposed to be a quote-unquote hardcore mod pack, I've decided to put us back on Cassandra rather than that mouse thing. It's being very generous, and I'm, look, I'm not against it being generous. It's kind of a nice change of pace. Oh, a pack of friendly dogs have turned up at our base. Well, that was, <laughs> that was certainly a raid. Imperial shuttle crash. Tribes people from the Pact of Maya will attack the shuttle site and intend to kill its occupants. <gasps> Burger joins. The return of Freddy Burger. Oh, we can see their full bio. Super immune, melee of 12. Not fantastic, but it could just be another person fishing, ultimately. Give me, give me Freddy Burger. Oh, of all the places you could have crash landed. Oh, that's the shuttle loop. 169 wood logs. Oh, and production one is finished. Wow. Ammo crafting table. 10 mechanisms, 165 steel alloy. And then finally, Tony can help us out in combat. I mean, uh, aside from stabbing every living thing on the map. Here they are. The Pact of Maya. We've got whale and brave... Bray, 
Spray Boda. Which I wouldn't mind recruiting you. You're pretty good. Plants of eight, single passion. Animals, double passion, six, but neurotic and optimist is quite a nice combo. <laughs> Look at how they run. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping the soldier will deal with this and we won't have to put any effort into it because I haven't got ammo. The Empire, I assume, has a lot of ammo. We really don't. Yep, I mean, that will that will do it. Oh, shit. Uh, have you got any medicine in your inventory? You should because I told you to stock up with it. Excellent. Uh, let's go and stabilize. Hey, why are you running? Not a chance. Four, three. Oh, God, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shit. Thanks. That was, uh, that was a really difficult quest. Burger's a rat girl with a, with a magic wand? Doesn't look like a magic wand. That looks like a stick grenade. Um, um, huh. Okay. Kamikaze rat. Fine. Well, well, come aboard. I, your face is really kind of freaking me out there, by the way. Devil's Strand Combat Gloves? Steel Personal Shield? Who the hell are you? <laughs> and a melee of 12 as well is uh, pretty fantastic. The Cultured Union gets more and more cultured by the day. I'm hoping we can get the items we need to build our reloading bench from these ship chunks. Yep, that's certainly a bunch of things. It really is. Wow, Burger is... Really not very good at anything, eh? Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing I've done with the other person there and take you off of harvesting. But we'll keep you on growing just to help train you up. Oh, we do have quarrying. Is that like the the quarry mod? They have the rockhound trait and also a double passion. So the sooner we could get that, the better. Uh, let's get to the research tree here. Hang on. Like a full-on straight-up quarry. Hey, wow. That seems kind of the opposite to hardcore in my mind. But I'm absolutely not going to complain that I can give our rat women armor. What do we need for our reloading mensch? Nothing. We've got everything. Oh, that's so good. Let's start building some firearms. Oh, is that separate research for each gun? Machine guns, multi-barrel weapons. Uh, it could also be under machining. Quick, name a gun. Um. Shit, I'm not American. How the hell am I supposed to do this? One of those rifles. Uh, it could be under metalworking then. Electric smithy. Weapon parts. Pistol components. Okay, seems like it's probably probably metal working in that case. There we go. Oh, it needs electricity? Oh, well, I mean, we've kind of done that a bit ass backwards, haven't we? Solar. Oh my god, it's got solar roofs? Wow. Um, that's another mod I consider, like, actually really OP. Uh, renewable power. So we just go for renewable power. Although, water mills, given that we've got a gigantic river... That could be high tier. Okay, we have a, we have a, just an insane amount of research to do right now. Let's build another wooden workbench. And then let's get Arkansas on like, I guess, priority four research. And then drop down hauling and clean to priority five. Oh, let's bring that up to priority three then. Three, plant cutting and mining? Absolutely not. Let's go priority two with that. The colonists are assigned to work tasks that require tools in order to be performed effectively, but like the tools to do so. Oh, so we have to set them tools up in there. Oh, wow. So rather than just being an optional thing to give them hatchets or whatever for the plant speed, they actually need it to, uh, I, I assume, perform at kind of 100% effectiveness. Growing, mining, and plant cutting. Oh, shit. Okay, put it on the list. Uh, let's go tools. What would that be? Ergonomics? No, that's going to be like tool bench. Uh, smithing we already have. So it's probable that we can already make that. A uh, blacksmith, right. Steel blacksmith and a ratkin fueled smithy. I assume that's for Burger and Tony then. And to build that, we need stone cutting. So that's okay then. We've kind of come full circle. Well, I suppose as far as episode one goes, that was that was an experience for sure. And let me know what you think, of course. Uh, this, this for me was an excuse to look at how other people make mod packs and, and maybe find mods that I have that have gone under my radar essentially it was it was a little bit of personal research that hopefully we can get some very stressful times out of if you do want to play along it, all you have to do is download the installer select your remod folder and that's it the mod config the load order everything is set up by their own launcher as of course with anything take caution downloading random things you find on the internet uh but this as far as I can tell is uh is absolutely fine and above board so I'll put a link to that in the description I'll do a kind of sort of write up a, a kind of install guide for lack of a better word but i really don't think you'll need it for this this is like the most simple way to get a remote mod pack going as there possibly could be and finally if you have any hints for hardcore sk 
Uh, perhaps with regards to difficulty, especially what you think is a good balance between actually learning the new mechanics and uh, getting our ass handed to us. I, I, I kind of expected that it was called Hardcore SK to, to take a lot more punishment than we have so far. First run notwithstanding, of course. And let's see what we do with it. I don't know if this will be a long series, a short series, whether it'll just be a few episodes while I build another mod pack in the background. I'm not sure. It's entirely down to you guys whether or not you like this. So uh, so definitely let me know and we'll either keep it around or throw it. Thank you, of course, to the patrons without which we wouldn't have rat girls running around a map stabbing people. Thank you to Chris Schenk, German Hammer, Chax, Ben Taylor, Night Rouge, Sabat, Revan, Viva La Fight Me, Michael Mullen, El Scorchio82, Alluvion Mishap, KQ the Magic Flying Velociraptor, Queen Bav Morda, and Anthony Scavuzzo for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thanks to you guys for... for allowing this all to happen. Thank you as well to Salakata, Almadel Solomonis, Ever Vigilant One, Gavin, William, Mantle, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Remdul, Mad Bowler Hat, Kickstart, and Garnuba. 